Merlin's Crystal will give you six quest points, so it's definitely worth the time if you need quest points for Heroes or Legends quest. To complete this quest, you will need level 20 attack and be able to defeat a level 39 enemy who attacks with melee. You will need bread in a tinderbox, and I recommend bringing a Falador teleport, some sort of teleport near to Port Serum, like teleport to house if your house is in Remington, or a charged amulet of glory or explorer's ring too, as well as a Varrock teleport and a Camelot teleport, and whatever food, weapons, or armor you need to defeat that level 39 enemy. To start the quest, make your way to Camelot Castle, and then go through the gate and through the front door. King Arthur will be wandering around this room somewhere. Talk to him and tell him you want to become a Knight of the Round Table. He says cool, but first you have to go on a quest. Merlin has been trapped in a crystal and we have to free him. We've got to talk to some of the knights to find out if they have any ideas on how to rescue Merlin. Find Sir Gawain, who should be somewhere on the ground floor of the castle or in the courtyard. Ask him, do you know how Merlin got trapped? And he said it was Morgan Le Fay, who has a stronghold to the south. Ask him if he has any ideas on how to get into the stronghold, but he doesn't. Next, run up the stairs, and somewhere on this floor you will find Sir Lancelot. Ask him if he knows how to get into Morgan Le Fay's stronghold. He says that the only ways in are the front doors and the sea entrance, which is only accessible by boat. Okay, next go south to Catherby, specifically the house just north of the bank. Grab the insect repellent that's on the table there, we'll need it later, and then head south to the dock and talk to Arhine. Ask him, is that your ship? He says, yep, he does deliveries, then ask him where he delivers to. Up and down the coast, okay. Ask him, can I get a lift? And he says, no, he's waiting on a candle delivery. Okay, make sure you have all your battle gear, and then run just to the north here and select hide in crate. Say yes, you want to hide in the crate. There will be a cutscene, and you get picked up and put on the boat. Click through all the dialogue, and then click yes to get out of the crate. You'll appear on this little dock here. Before you go in, you probably want to turn off auto-retaliate if you have it on. Open the door, and then go up the stairs. Run past the knights that attack, and go up the stairs again. Attack Sir Mordred. It's a pretty simple fight, and then just as soon as you're about to finish him off, Morgan Le Fay appears and says, please spare my son. Say, tell me how to untrap. Not sure that's a word. Merlin and I might. She says you need to find a magic symbol, a black candle, and some bat bones, which will summon a demon, but then you also need this sword Excalibur and some magic words to make the demon free Merlin. Ask her where you can find Excalibur, and she says the Lady of the Lake has it. And finally, ask her what the magic words are. She says they're written on a chaos altar somewhere, but of course she can't remember what they are. Next, go down the staircase, and down again, and then out the front door. Find one of the giant bats flapping around, and kill it, and grab the bones it drops. Now head just a bit to the north, and find the eastern entrance to the beehive enclosure. Open the gate, and grab the bucket that spawns there. Select your insect repellent, and then use it on one of the beehives, and then use your bucket on the beehive, and you'll get a bucket of wax. Go to the east to find the candlemaker's shop in Catherby. Ask him if he's got any black candles. He says it's bad luck to make black candles, but he'll bring you one if you bring him a bucket full of wax. Just talk to him again, and he'll trade your wax for a black candle. Now we have to get to this little peninsula south of Taverly. If you've got a Falador teleport, use that now and then run the rest of the way. Find the Lady of the Lake, and tell her you seek the sword Excalibur. She says she's got it, but we have to prove we are worthy of it. She says she's arranged a test at the jewelry shop in Port Serum. Not sure why it couldn't just be right here. But anyways, make your way to Port Serum with your favorite method. I'm using teleport to house because my house is in Remington. But if you've got a charged amulet of glory, head to Draenor, or it's not that far to walk either. As you approach the jewelry store, a beggar will approach you and ask for some bread. Give him your bread and surprise, it was the Lady of the Lake in disguise. Okay, neat, she gives us Excalibur. We've got one last stop to make before we return to Camelot, the Chaos Altar in Varrock. Use your Varrock teleport if you have one, and then go to the temple in the southeast corner. Right-click on the Chaos Altar and select Check Altar. You'll find the magic words to command the demon we're going to summon to free Merlin. Return to Camelot, but don't go into the castle this time. 
Go through the front gate and then go east and then north. You'll see some stone pillars and a weird symbol. Stand on the symbol and light your black candle with the tinderbox. Then very carefully right click on the bat bones and drop them. Suddenly a mighty spirit appears. <laughs> Choose the option that says Snarthon, Cantrick, Termanto, Grrrrg, says the spirit. You tell it's a free Merlin and it says hit the crystal with Excalibur to free Merlin. Run back to the castle through the front door and then go to the east and down the hallway and climb the ladders. And there is Merlin in the crystal. Wield Excalibur and click on the crystal to smash it. Merlin says thanks for saving him. All that's left now is to go and talk to the king. Go back down the ladder and find King Arthur. He'll dub you a knight of the round table and you will complete the quest. Enjoy those six quest points. Hey there, thanks for watching. I hope the guide helped you out. If it did, maybe hit the like button. And if you're interested in seeing any more cool guides in the future, maybe hit that subscribe button.